Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I am thankful for Michigan. I have never lived in Michigan before, this, so this is the first time. I've only visited here one other time, and that was about a year ago uh, when I came to visit my parents for five months. There's like no violence here. None. Everybody knows each other. It's a small population. Everybody is very nice. Um, it's way easier to make friends. And I like that. Like, I feel like I don't have to, like, hide who I am. Because everybody has, like, that friendliness about them. Like, each person is obviously their own person in there. They are all, you know, genuine and nice in their own little way. And you still get that wide range of, like, personality. But everyone is nice to each other. Everyone is willing to help out. Like, first of all, the way that you can do gas out here versus the way that you can do gas in Aurora goes to show me that there's absolute trust between the gas station and, you know, it's people like a company and basically the village or like the people, the company and the people, they have this trust together that everybody automatically just follows and we're good, you know, like I first came out here and I went to go get gas and I grabbed my wallet and I started walking inside and my dad's like where are you going and I'm like to pay for the gas and he was like no you have to pump the gas first and I looked at him and I was like you have to pump the gas first what and he was like yeah you're not in Colorado anymore and I was like yeah I know but what <laughs> so yeah so you know that's a thing and I've always wanted to live by the water but I also didn't want to be like where water can just like whoo and like destroy my whole thing you know whatever and I live by a lake so I can hear the water and I can swim in the water and I'm right next to the water so like literally I can leave my driveway and it's a highway I can walk across the street to the bridge and there's an opening between the trees I can see straight down and into the water so not only can I hear all of it going on but I can go and I can look at the waves just crashing on the shore. Um, you know, so that's, that's one reason why I'm thankful for Michigan. Like, it's open, it's free, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and, everybody is so, so 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 friendly like I don't have stress here it's a big open area and you have the opportunity to own your own land like who would not want to do that you know what I mean like own a piece of it I just love it I absolutely love it like in Aurora when I would work at a job, I felt like it was me and like maybe one or two other people that would get along, but then everybody else, there was just so much judgment. There was just so much feeling like you're not welcome. And I didn't, I don't like that. Like I, if I am in a place where I feel unwelcome, I'm not going to want to be there. And if I don't want to be there, then I'm not going to want to do my job. And if I don't want to do my job, then 
that opens up a gap for me to either make excuses to not be there or to spend my life miserable because I don't want to be there. But when you walk into work and every person is very friendly with you, you know that every person likes you to some extent, whether they want to be, you know, your friend or they will stand there for 10 minutes talking to you or whatever. Like, literally, I can go to work and I can have a conversation with every single person that I see. Every single one. And I don't feel like they don't want to talk with me. Like, when I first started that job, I had anxiety out the ass, let me tell you. I told my sister, I was like, those people look intimidating, because I had walked in there a couple times, and I thought that those people looked really intimidating, so I was afraid to put in an application because I didn't want them to dislike me. And because, you know, every job I've ever worked in, a bunch of people didn't like me. So I didn't want to be around them. I didn't want to be at work. I didn't want you know, to be in that situation. And, you know, I've definitely had a job where nobody liked me. And so they put all of the work on me and it pissed me off. And it really made being at work unpleasant and unfun. So I didn't want to do it. But, you know, so I had anxiety about even putting in the application, but I knew that I needed a job. So I had to. And then... You know, when I started there, I'm great at making, you know, turning mountains into molehills. Or, I said that wrong. Making mountains out of molehills. You know, so the slightest little thing that, you know, to me sets off as, oh, they don't like you. I jump on that and my anxiety is like, see, I told you and they don't like you or whatever. And then they do something nice and it's like, oh, well, maybe they do. And then after a while, it's just kind of like oh, all of these people are nice and friendly. You just have to get to know them. And that's kind of where you you shouldn't really assume because assuming allows space for your anxiety to take over. And when you allow your anxiety to take over, you are not going to have a good experience. Like, it's, it's easy to let your anxiety take over. And it's hard to take control of that. So, I mean, when you're realizing it, it's easier. Um, but even when it's easy, or it's hard, I, does that make any type of sense at all? Regardless, the people are nice, and I can have a conversation, and that's something that I could not do in Colorado like at all so while I still have anxiety I like it better here where everyone is nice so I am thankful for Michigan and on top of that I've always wanted to travel so for me to be able to even be in Michigan at all whether it's to visit or to live to me that's like a check mark off my bucket list because that means now I've been to Michigan. I've lived in Michigan for said amount. Like, even though when you're visiting, you're living a part of your life in that area. So even though I visited here for five months and was just visiting and I didn't actually live here, I lived here for five months because that's where I spent five months of my life. And now I've moved here, and so now I actually live here, live here, and I'm a resident here. Like, I literally now have a Michigan ID, so that to me is like, oh, I'm official, you know, I'm official Michiganarian. <laughs> it's not even a word. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I just think it's cool. So yeah, so that's what I'm thankful for. Are you thankful for living in your state or city or whatever? If so, leave me a comment down below. I'd be happy to know about all of that. If you are enjoying these videos, go check out my playlist, Thankful, um, where I will be 
posting all of my I am thankful for videos too so that you can see them all and I will be doing this every single day of November and I'm hoping that I can do a small little bonus video where I can spend part of the Thanksgiving dinner um, with you guys where I can you know hold on so when I said hold on I meant to say that louder because my dad knocked on the door because okay so I have a sign that says recording in progress but I keep forgetting to take it down so when I'm not recording um they still don't know so when it's up they still don't know if I'm recording or not and so I said hold on but I didn't say it loud enough and so it was more like me telling you to hold on because I paused the video <laughs> so that I could talk to him real quick but either way um I don't remember where I left off so I'm just gonna restate what I said if you enjoyed this video be sure to check out my playlist thankful where I am posting a video every single day of November explaining to you the things that I'm thankful for um, I'm hoping to have a, a bonus video where I can record some of my Thanksgiving dinner um, to share with you guys uh, so that I can have Thanksgiving with you um, in which I would absolutely love if and I don't know if it's possible, but I would love to share Thanksgiving with you. So, let me know if you want me to do my first live stream so that we can spend Thanksgiving together and we can all give thanks and enjoy our Thanksgiving feast and yeah. Let me know if that is something that you want to do and if I have enough people who are interested in that then I will do that and if uh, if you have any ideas of other stuff that we can do during that time um, let me know because and I'm sure Ashley would uh, like that so if she's gonna do that herself or record her own video then we can both do it together or and play some games or whatever um, but basically be thankful and yeah so leave me a comment down below if you would like to be a part of that and yeah so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye